Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we are on our way to take some pictures with my niece who is visiting from the States for her high school graduation that's coming up in May. There are a couple different reasons that we're doing pictures now which we'll explain in the video in more detail. But we're going to take you guys to a familiar place that we've been to before in our videos which is a hacienda that we found while trying to go up to the volcano with Alexis and Servando. So if you like what you're watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. But we're going to give you a look at all the behind the scenes of the pictures and the rest of what we're doing with our Sunday. Starting off with playing a little bit of soccer in the street. There's Dominic, all ready to go. Okay guys, we're here at the Hacienda. We're gonna get ready to take some pictures as soon as the rest of our family gets here. But I don't know if you guys remember this, the church, 1904. I do know that one of our followers' family um, owns this Hacienda and the land that it's on and uh, she reached out to me. I couldn't find her message, but shout out to her We are here taking pictures. We love the spot and uh, we're excited to do some pictures But let's go talk to my niece and get her take on it All right, here's Alondra. Hello. She's all ready to get her pictures taken. Here's her cap and gown All right, Alondra, why are you taking pictures here in Mexico months before your graduation? Um, because when I was a little girl <laughs> it's okay. Um, my uncle always wanted to see me in my cap and gown. <laughs> so, por él, por él me agradó. <laughs> so she's here to get pictures with Fidel in her cap and gown. And then uh, me and the boys will be there and Fidel virtually to watch her walk across the stage. Pues a lo mejor porque yo pienso que también es una cosa es que no voy a poder estar ya en su graduación. Cosa que pues este difícil porque también ya ya después de que yo la miré muy chiquita como mi Domini desde que nació y es este hemos convivido entonces ahora pues no puedo estar allá ya y su graduación ya hace unos cuantos meses. Entonces no la oportunidad entonces ahora nos vamos a sacar unas fotos aquí donde pues donde también nací unas partes de mi yo así partes de de una hacienda, entonces este ella tenía la y es una hacienda muy viejita, entonces no es que tomar que la foto de mi hija y no sé y también yo creo que porque pues sabe que ya no no, no va a poder estar el día de su graduación, pero me da mucho orgullo que ya se va a graduar y que se coja y, y acabe muy pronto su universidad, creo que siempre le he dicho. Quiero que me Y que tú es dile ella hasta ella es una niña hasta ahora. Que la pues, única cosa tú quieres por ella, un su universidad. Eh, yo pienso para que sí se pueda valer, o sea, Si algún día, no sé, como yo siempre le decía a mi esposa, si ya no hacemos matrimonio, pienso que si ella tiene una, una carrera, puede verse por sí, por sus hijos, por sí misma. Así que, adelante, hija. Yo quiero separar a ti. Ok, ahora vamos a hacer que se limpie, así que podemos tomar algunas fotos de graduación. Sí, Dan. Remind me, we'll get a different one of that. Yeah, hey. make me look skinny, please. <laughs> so Diego's gonna take over recording. Make sure you don't cover up the thing to hear. And uh, Diego will get you lots of behind the scenes footage for this video. All Let's right. go. Hola. And make sure you're not moving it around too much. Wanna say hi, hi, Hello. Hello. Hola, tío. Hey. My cousin Isma over here. I got my grandma. I got all that. Behind the scenes. There's the ocean. You want to let my cos? Hola. No puedes ver en la intro. Si no puedes ver en la intro con la cámara. Pero si hay un corazón. ¿Hay un otro lado para meter? No. ¿Quieres estar sentada? Sí, pero no hay otro lado. ¿Sí? Okay. Una, señor, que estamos todos. 
That one's cute. That is cute, right? Once he put his thumbs up down. <laughs> Those are cute. Yeah, I couldn't see. <laughs> everyone in your, everyone in your Theo's photos. <laughs> Blinking. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll go back to that one where you were. We're coming over here to find out what Fidel's doing because once again his shirt is different. Guess this, Fidel. ¿Cuánto camisas tienen? ¿Yo? Sí. ¿Unas cuantas? <risa> Porque sabes cómo importante esta foto. Sí. Mira cuántas gorras tienen también. Sí, que la foto con cada una, cada una de mis Changing husband. <risa> <risa> Put your thumb down, Fidel. What am I? We're going to jump in. No, se vayan a caer. Listo? <risa> Fidel, ¿por qué estás fedoro ahora? Mm, porque no tenemos aire en el carro. No tenemos aire acondicionado y no tenemos aire acondicionado. Lo que pasa es que mi carro no le, agarra la, no le importa, no le entra la primera y estamos haciendo una subida y le, lo quería subir en segunda. Y tiene los vidrios arriba, pero estaba haciendo un tirarón y estábamos sudando. ¿no? We didn't think we were going to get up there. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's always an adventure in this car. <laughs> All right, we're done with photos. Now we're going to go. There's a lot of flies in your car, Broski. I know. Just like when our system windows are down. Now we're going to go up to my house so that we can get the stuff for micheladas. Um, because I guess they're going to make some micheladas. So that's where we're going right now. My sister-in-law is driving. And for those of you that asked, she is not single. She is married to Fidel's brother. They lived in... Um, Utah, or they still live in Utah actually, uh, but they lived there when we lived up there. And uh, so Diego and Abby's two oldest kids grew up together and we left right after um, Adriana, her youngest, was like what, maybe a year when we left? No. I think she was like six months. Was she like six months? Yeah. Yeah, she's about six months when we left, but that's okay, we still, we still know her very well, right Mija? Yes. <laughs> um, and so, again, not single. And yes, she's from the States. Um, oh, they also asked if we teach everybody English. We try to. We try to. And if they ask, because we don't walk around forcing people to learn English either. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to head up and get this stuff from Micheladas, and then I'll record that so you guys can see it. And uh, also what we're eating down here at uh, Abby's house. Okay, so to eat, they did chivo. So here's the meat portion of it, and then I'm gonna show you what else they're cooking. All right, the other thing that they're cooking is panza, which is in here. Abby and I don't eat the panza, we don't like it, but um, everybody here really likes it, so that's what they're making in this pot. And then Abby made salsa, which is almost gone, but it was really good, like guacamole salsa, it's really good. 
she also did rajas, so chilies, and they have nopal. These are my brother-in-law's collectible cars that he got. Let's see the other ones. Let's see. You gotta flip it over, bro. It's upside down. There you go. Typing in the name. Very nice. Abby, how do you feel about the um, car collection? Do you the, tell That's the why I sent him down to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's keeping him here. <laughs> My sister-in-law loves them. She wants them all over her house. <laughs> here we have all the stuff for the micheladas and for the mole de panza. Okay, so I was telling Abby, because she lives in the States, that there was a lot of... Be hot. careful, it's hot. That there was a lot of back and forth in the comment section about mole de panza and menudo. So I'm going to have her explain to you what the difference is so that people will stop coming for me every time I call it mole de panza because they're two different things. Okay, go. So the mole de panza here, it's they do it in caldo, but it has like all the insides of the animal. So it has like all the heart and liver and stomach heart has different things and then the menudo that we eat in the states it's just the beef tripe so like the librillo or like the beef tripe that they use so this is a lot different than what um what menudo is so yeah. so see there is a difference i don't like it i don't eat it but <laughs> neither is... neither abby nor i are fans of this and if you guys have been following for a while you know that i also don't like menudo but abby does like menudo but there you go there's a difference between the two thank you for clarifying you're great what do we cast this okay the camera died so we're picking up from here <laughs> Sorry guys, trying to do TikTok and YouTube at the same time. <laughs> Good? <laughs> okay, so we did forget the limon. That's okay, we forgot her. She's making a second one. <laughs> With limon already. With limon already. Can you go to all right, guys, so that's going to wrap up our YouTube video for today. Uh, the photos went really well. I'm going to put in a couple of those, or I put in a couple of those for you guys to see. But all in all, it went very well. We're going to eat with our family, drink a little bit, and enjoy the rest of our Sunday evening. So thank you so much for being here. We appreciate each and every single one of you, and we hope that everyone had a great weekend. Have a great day, guys.